Lots of pressure on this film to do more, yet it's not like the first time around you tried to do less. What were your thoughts going in on how to pump it up? Well, I, you know, I think that in you know Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, I just wanted to continue the story in a truthful way from the first movie. And I think that meant going deeper into the characters and getting to know those characters more. I think the first movie was the story of Peter Quill, of Star-Lord. The second movie is centered around Star-Lord in some ways, but in some ways not. Each of them has their own equally independent and important story. Look out! Oh, wow. I tried, guys. And Dave Bautista was saying that he loves doing green screen scenes with you because you give so much. What do you do for your <laughs> actors to ground them in these crazy um, realities that often are not there? I would, I would like to know what, what Bautista says about them, but it's like, I think I just, you know, I, I have a very big imagination. And at the beginning, at the script stage, I create it all in my head. And then it's simply a matter of trying to make the movie look like what's in my head for the rest of it. And so it's just a lot of legwork because the fun part is really at the writing stage. So by the time I get to the green screen with Dave Bautista, I'm able to describe pretty specifically what's going on around him and what's happening. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> you know, the first time I made Chris Pratt very funny, and he's not able to do that. Uh, <laughs> so the second time I wrote a very dry, boring guy, which is more like Chris Pratt. Uh, so it made it a lot easier. No, uh, you know, listen, I think, you know, Chris has a very specific way of talking. He's from Washington, but he also almost has this Southern charm about him. Mm -hmm. So I made that a part of the character. You know, Batista has a very dry, very quiet voice that I put to good use. Whereas in the first movie, I had him yelling a lot. He doesn't really like yelling. He's not, you know, that's not his thing. It's more his dry sense of wit. And for Zoe, I think that there was this, she's got such this strong personality and underneath it is this very sort of vulnerable tenderness, almost motherliness, maybe even perhaps because she has two little kids that makes her a very strong personality. And so to bring out both of those parts of herself was, was part of the challenge.